um, I feel like you guys did such a great job of branding because I remember all like like there was like the series of albums where all of the covers were very similar. Then you'd open the book and the CDs were all very similar. Like you guys had like very dope branding. Like every album had a different oh, man. clown. Yeah. And then the jersey would go with it or the shirt. Who? Because I, I do feel like, um, you know, on the marketing side, you guys were amazing. Who was kind of the brainchild behind like some of the early like shit that you guys would come up with? Maybe, whether it be like, hey, we got to make sure this line of albums are consistent with the art and the CDs and I they all kind of go man. together. I know this much doing that shit back then um, is the reason we still move physical units today. Yeah, you know what I'm people, saying. It's their collectors' items. Yeah, it's like people. People always are gonna wonder what you're gonna do. You know, like we'll put like a fucking pair of 3D glasses in there, and and put all kind of crazy shit mm-hmm. in there, and we put a booklet with like mazes and funny. No, ass I remember shit that. I remember. Yeah, you guys had the mazes on the front. Yeah. Yeah, and then like you could uh, pull shit out and make a piece of dice, and you know what I mean. Yeah. It's just cool. Like, uh, you know what I'm saying. But yeah, we we include we do shit like that and try to do really good packaging. And um, to our benefit, that comes from back in the day, though. Any, you know, I don't know. I don't know where that comes from. We are, that's just from always done it like that, you know? You guys just always kind of had a knack for like. I think so. Yeah, yeah that's the best way of putting it. Can knack, you, can you, can you yeah. give me the origins of the Hatchet Man logo? Yeah, that, man. That everyone has tattooed? In, in the very beginning, me and Joey, me and Shaggy, he's like, um, we, had two, we had two ideas for the label mm-hmm. name. One was one was a great name, Mad Paper Boy, right? And, and, and it was going to be a guy on a bike with a, with a um a fucking newspaper, like pay, like pay, like the game. Yeah. And we wanted to call it back then. This is before paper was known as money, bro. Right. Because um there was a fucking paper boy used to come through looking like fucking Napoleon Dynamite kind of, right? And, and and fucking throwing papers anywhere and um. He was our boy. We just loved to see him. So we were like, how about Mad Paperboy uh, Records? And, and um, I thought that would have been cool. The other one was Psychopathic, you know. It's same idea, but now it's just a guy with a, instead of a paper, he's got the, uh, the, the um, hatchet man. You know what I mean? It's crazy because, I mean, thousands upon thousands of people have tattoos of you guys. Fuck yeah. Do you remember the year that you first noticed? Like, because that's got to, when artists, get like have fans that are that dedicated it's i I can only imagine how trippy it's got to be when it first happens be like yo this guy's got us tattooed on him like do you remember like when you guys first started to notice that your guys's fans were that dedicated because that's a level of commitment that (laughs) man what, what 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 do you say to a ninja that walks up to you pulls his shirt off and his entire back you know, it's all fucking in his whole body and sometimes, you know what I mean? What do you say? Right. How do you even react to that? That's just something, it, 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 it's like uh, the type of person I am, I, it makes me uncomfortable, it, a ping of, um, a ping of uh, hurt, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Or whatever the fuck term is. Right. Because I don't know how the fuck to, you know, re- respond to that. It's so stunning. Are you are you used to it yet? Because at this no, point, we're talking. I'm not. I'll never be used to that, and I'll never understand it. You know, um, I don't want to say the wrong thing. I love the the fucking devotion and dedication. You get what I'm saying? Right. But me, I I you know I I I would um one thing I don't like doing. I'm not. I don't like signing my name for an autograph. Because they'll, get a a chick. Tat- they'll get a tattoo. On a hottie. Right. I don't want that. I'm like, man, if you were my woman, I don't want that ninja's name. Yeah, like I don't want to you know I don't want to I don't want to ruin your love life 5 years from now. <laughs> I, I'm like no, I, I don't I'm not you especially I'm you know, I'm not going to do it to any I don't like right. that, you know what I'm saying? We sign it so I can get a tattoo. Fuck no. Yeah. You, you, you know, but uh if it, if if some if a dude wants that, whatever, man. I I just I just don't give a fuck up myself. I don't give a fuck about an autograph. Right. I don't have no autograph. I don't have any pictures of any, me and anybody. <laughs> I don't give a fuck. Right. You know what I mean? Nah, yeah, I can imagine, bro. The yeah. only person that ever, um, the only person that ever made me and uh, Shaggy nervous to meet mm-hmm. was when we met Vince McMahon. Hey, that had to be sick. Bro, our fucking mouths dried out. Like, we were both like, 
And he was like, hey, who who won the Grim Tim contest, you know? And that was like a contest we were having back then, mm -hmm. you know? And we just looked at each other. 